Hi, King Lizard, Xbox One and Destiny strike action with Winter's Run on Venus. So this is my speed run for the Hunter class. I'm currently using Plan C here, this ARC-based fusion rifle. It's an exotic, not fully upgraded. I'm working on upgrading it. It barely has much of an upgrade at all, to be honest, but it does do a lot of damage anyway. I'm also using my primary, which is a scout rifle, a legendary scout rifle, the Badger CCL. So this area here in the caves is the very first area we meet level 24 enemy. Um, obviously with this mission you do start in the standard checkpoint for Venus, you have to work your way to this location. You can pretty much just fly through everything and get yourself into this cave area. Um, and then obviously work on the main mission quite swiftly. So working on taking down this mixture of Vex and Fallen in these areas you'll see a lot of Vex and Fallen fighting each other for territory. Um, you're basically in the middle of it taking it down if you like the uh, Clint Eastwood <laughs> of, of Destiny basically upsetting both factions but here we obviously have to get through these banks of enemy once we get through these banks of enemy we're into the next area which is a very open area quite a ranged area you can afford to sit up on top for the very first section um, and obviously if your colleagues go down and set the objective off after we clear the first wave of enemy that are fighting each other down here we can then pretty much sit up on the rooftops or in the cliff tops and take out enemy from a, you know from a, a distance now these level 24 guys you know two or three of these guys together at a level 31 they take you down pretty quick you know it only take a couple of shots from one of those minotaurs down there to take you down uh, very quickly and it's kind of you know your end of game the night watch version and also the uh, level 30 version of this winter's run mission are near impossible um, the, the so I tried level 30 solo winter's run probably four or five times I just don't bother anymore every time I get taken out that very last wave of enemy just as about the you know just as the Archon Priest is almost dead you get this mass wave of enemy come in fallen and it's particularly the invisible um, fallen that you know one hit from those guys when they're next to you and you're dead and you get a you know you get a whole bunch of them at least six or seven of them attack you at once and you just can't take them out in time um, they're generally too close to get a rocket shot on them without killing yourself and you know your sniper rifle you need time to aim you just don't get time to aim by the time you've aimed up you kill one and the rest of them are on top of you killing you so it's really really difficult level at level 30 I personally think at level 30 and for Nightwatch this is the hardest level in the game um, that I've played anyway not not including obviously dark below content which is generally quite difficult anyway but I have got through for instance things like the Awakening and also Siege of the Warmind solo on 30 um, but I've never done those in a night watch so obviously I can't comment on those I wouldn't have thought they'd be a lot of fun though that's for sure so slowly working through these ultras down there these ultra Cyclops is down there doing some damage. These guys again, they hit you a couple of times and you're out of action. You know, you really do have to avoid being hit by those guys. These guys aren't so much of a problem that you know the lower class specs. And in a minute we'll get some of the largest type robots with those rotating shields. There they go. Get three of those guys to take down. Get some golden gun shots on him. They're concentrating on that chap over there because he's closest to them. See if I can afford some ammo. No, I can't. But I'd help him out with a bit of rocket launcher ammo there. But get a grenade in. Hopefully, I'll get some hits. Yeah, got a few hits on him. So with these enemy, obviously with the, obviously with the vex, these guys in particular, the best place to shoot them is in the very front of their face. They have a light. Basically, that's where you do the most damage. You'll get criticals. With the standard vex. You know, you're looking at abdomen shots along with those um, gargles. You want to hit them, up, you know, in the uh, abdomen as well. Harpies you can hit in the face, although they generally damage, you know, the um, what's the word? 
the major version that doesn't have a shield will damage very easily through the you know the front eye. The major with a shield, so the red with the white line, those guys basically are a lot more difficult to take down. You've got to clear their shield out, so a good fusion gun is recommended for that. Now I do actually have Icebreaker, the uh, sniper rifle, but to be honest, if I use that, it's going to be quite an easy round for me, which is why I'm, you know, working on this Badger CCL. The Icebreaker is, you know, pretty decimating weapon. It'll take down most enemy quite quick. Still won't insta kill a lot of the uh, bigger enemies, but it'll do them quite a bit of damage. So. Picking up fallen comms. Next, we go into quite an open area. There's some bikes we can take that actually shoot. Well, these bikes can be quite handy. Um, a lot of people these days on this particular mission are just flying through this section and getting past it. Um, the only problem is if you're not privy to that and you kind of get stuck on the end of the uh, the group, if you like, you're kind of left fighting off the rest of the enemy on your own. There isn't much of a way through for you, for you without dying. Um, and obviously dying is not a whole lot of fun. If someone's got to walk all the way back through the level to save you, they're more likely just to leave you there while they finish the strike. So, I mean, in this case, I've hopped off and done what I normally do, which is focus on killing the enemy. That's pretty much what I always do in this area. My compadres, however, have flown on, as you can see there. Now, obviously, I don't realise that's what they're doing. One of my colleagues is down there, so I'm going to go save his butt and pick him up. Also, I think I am, but he's not actually where I think he is. At this point, I realise obviously they've moved on without me. So, I've got to focus on taking these guys down before I even attempt to ride my bike through there. Because every time I've tried to ride my bike past these guys when in a big group like that, they only have to hit you twice and it's game over. And the last thing I want is to spend the rest of the uh, map, the mission, sat back here because it means my colleagues have got one less man for this really nasty level. Um, and hence may not finish it on their own but also that I'm going to be sat here a real long time because they've got a lot of extra work um, to pick up because of my you know, my failure in this area what I generally do now is I will fly through this section and just go straight to the end took out that Minotaur and then to the next area again I'm now kind of left clearing this on my own because my colleagues have moved on so I've got quite a bit of work to do here to get through this there is no way that I'm going to drive through and jump up that hill without dying with all this fire on me so I've got to focus on taking everything out or as much as possible at least anyway get a few concentrated fusion shots up there, there's quite a few of them up there get some shots on the front of that thing he's out of the okay, so that's one of the bigger enemies out of the case obviously the other thing with Vex is they get furious and start firing at you like crazy when you take their heads off or if they're Minotaurs Obviously they take quite a lot of damage and they get to the point where they're nearly destroyed. They will pretty much go on a rampage just firing left, right and centre. And if you get caught in the middle of that, you, know, you need to be in a place where you can either shelter pretty quick or take those things down very quickly. They will down you very quickly when they're in that crazy mode if you're close to them. So, now I've joined the others. They've actually cleared out the first wave of enemies which is basically there's a whole bunch of um, fallen around this area and then you get a wave of like dregs come running in and some of those smaller, sh you know, smaller little drone type ships now these guys have just got wasted I'm going to go and save their butts now as a group of three we'll stand a lot more chance getting through this level 24 is you know, still difficult for this winter's run mission. 
it is a very nasty mission your key focus of this mission as with any strike take out the big enemy first the sooner you get that guy down the sooner all the pain stops and that's the biggest problem with playing this mission solo is that you tend to have to go through all the waves and it's that third wave that is normally your downfall because it's a complete nightmare so face shots for this guy can only see the rear of him so I'll shoot what I can get a few freebie knife shots in any minute now I'll have some of these drones that you can see there they'll be up in my case behind me I'm not taking too much damage so I'll take a chance nope my colleague must have took those out for me, thank you very much. Let's get some of this plan C. Make his life miserable, let's get some golden gun action on him. That stunned him quite nicely. The other thing is, if you've got the icebreaker sniper rifle, I mean that makes this mission a lot easier too. I'm deliberately not using that sniper rifle because I don't want it to be too easy and given there's three of us we can manage it with the weapon type we've got. I was just interested to see what these guys were going to use to take it down. But um, with the icebreaker when you hit him in the face with your shot he'll actually stun him and he'll reel back. Very similar to um, Fogoth when you hit Fogoth un you know, under, his, under his chest area. He will actually stall and move back. Here come some of those invisible shits that I was telling you about. These guys are what kill you in single player but not this particular wave. It's the third wave of them that is the real problem. So as you can see here, you know, we've made some pretty good progress on this guy. He's not far gone now. The so more invisibles, it helped my colleague there take those guys down. As they, in gr you know, group of two of them on you and you don't see them quick enough, they can kill you. And then it's up to your colleagues to pick you up. And with the, um, I think I said Nightwatch earlier, apologies, Nightfall um, version of this is a complete nightmare. I've got to this area and every time I die within a very short space of time of being here on my own. But it is real tough to get here. It takes me about 40 minutes. Anyway, that was Winter's run concluded. We just took him, took out the Archon Priest. So please be kind enough to rate the video. And if you're not a subscriber, It'd be great to have you aboard. Don't be shy, click that sub button. Keep watching. Take care.